Hey, crypto family, welcome back to another video where I'm bringing you the cryptocurrency news. Today's article comes from Cointelegraph and it's the Sandbox partners with the world of women to drive female education and mentorship. Together, they are launching the WOW Foundation and additional education initiatives as announced on International Women's Day. So, hey, look at that. They got Harley Quinn in there. It's totally Harley Quinn, if you can't tell. But surrounded by crypto coins just flying around her. But the Sandbox, aka Sand, Metaverse announced its partnership with a non-fungible token, Community World of Women, or WOW. To launch the WOW Foundation, a $25 million grant from the Sandbox will help fund the foundation over the next five years. The mission of WOW Foundation is to amplify female representation in the NFT and Metaverse spaces. As a collection of diverse and powerful women sold on the Ethereum blockchain, World of Women shared with Cointelegraph that they aim to lower the barrier to entry for women in Web3. Our mission is to highlight and lift up as many female and underserved creators as possible, making the metaverse not just a landscape designed by men, but rather one enriched with a much diversity of thoughts as possible. This mission has a four main pillars, uplift the ecosystem by supporting artists and funding projects, educate newcomers, give more visibility to women-centric causes, and give back to charities. Via the Sandbox's grant, it also plans to support creators' journeys in Web3 from mentoring and funding their first mint to their first sale. World of Women and the Sandbox intend to work together to create a series of interactive experiences via the WOW Foundation within the metaverse among these projects are the WOW Museum on a 2x2 sandbox land, the WOW University, which provides free online lessons on how to get started with Web3, and the WOW Academy, which will serve as a mentoring and funding incubator. Recently, the Sandbox acquired the most expensive WOW NFT at the time of purchase for 200 Ethereum, named Aora, and made her the new goddess of the Sandbox. Yam Karkai, co-founder and artist of World of Women, revealed that the WOW will be voxelizing all 10,000 NFTs so that our entire community can join us in the metaverse. These interoperable avatars will be accessible within the Sandbox's Alpha Season 2. So say hi to Aurora of the World of Women, number 6025, our new queen of the Sandbox game metaverse. So here they are right here. Uh, additionally, WoW may be gearing up for film, TV, and music opportunities thanks to tech investor Guy Oseri, who recently added World of Women to his NFT portfolio. While NFT holders have complete ownership and intellectual property rights over their assets, similar to the Bored Ape Yacht Club model, both the Sandbox and World of Women currently rank within the top 20 collections of all time in terms of trading volumes on OpenSea. At the time of publication, WoW had traded 55,300 Ethereum, or $142.7 million, while the Sandbox traded a volume of 156,200 Ethereum, or $403.2 million. So, oof, that's a lot for that NFT, but yeah, as long as it's for the education and driving of mentorship, good call. But again, you can get education everywhere. YouTube, I wouldn't trust Reddit or Twitter for follow news, like trust good sources, such as Crypto World, which is a brick and mortar store, and you have a physical location you can go to. We offer cryptos over coffee classes every Tuesday. You can live stream that on our YouTube website. And yeah, what else? You can book an online virtual class if you can't make it in person, which I believe we got that set up. Or you can always book a virtual consultation with me as well on my website. CryptoSherpaLLC.com and others. So yeah, really good article. If you guys liked it too, please give this video a thumbs up, like and subscribe, share it with your friends. And until next time, the Crypto Sherpa is out.